Hi, I'm Dr. Matthew Bose, and welcome to our video series. Proper therapy exercises are important for recovery from most orthopedic conditions. I've designed this series to provide you with up-to-date therapy regimens that you can access at home, in the gym, or on the road. I hope you find these videos helpful, and best of luck in your recovery. It's important to start off with light stretching. Here we're stretching up overhead, doing what's called a wall slide. Use your non-operative arm to raise the operative arm, stabilizing it against the wall, or you let your fingers walk up the wall until you feel a gentle stretch. As your motion improves, you can kneel into the wall to get those last little bits of motion up overhead. Stretching can also be done at this point if it's more comfortable using table slides. Lean into the stretch. Hold it for approximately 20 to 30 seconds. Relax and repeat. This can also be done stretching out to the side with your elbow facing the table and your shoulder facing that way, leaning over to the side, let your arms stretch out. A post or a wall or a doorway is used to do rotation stretches, the hands fixed up against the wall, the elbows fixed up against the side. Cross body stretching helps loosen up the back part of the shoulder. Early strengthening are done with resistance bands. These come in multiple co colors which give different resistance strengths. You can buy a set of these easily at a sporting goods store or online. Start with the lightest band and progress over approximately one to two week interval. Resistance can also be altered by increasing or decreasing the stretch in the band, stepping closer or further away from its point of fixation. Gentle strengthening is started with TheraBands. Fix the TheraBand under your foot and lift up in front of your body and then 45 degrees out to the side, alternating these movements. Tension in the band can be adjusted by length of the band. Lift your arms smoothly and evenly, controlled manner up to but not above shoulder level and hold that position for a two count. Keep your elbow against your side. Rotate from your stomach out to the side to strengthen an external rotation. Hold the final position for one or two counts. To strengthen the back part of the shoulder, Start with your arm out fully extended and then bring your elbow back just to the side of your body. Slow and controlled. Hold the final position. Try not to bring your elbow back much further than the plane of your body. Do shrugs. Raise your shoulder blades on both sides. Hold in the fully elevated position for a one to two count. Scapular strengthening is done by doing retraction exercises as shown here. Try and pinch the shoulder blades together. 
bringing your elbows back, pinching the shoulder blades and holding for a two to three count. This begins to strengthen the muscles around your shoulder blade. With your hands stabilized on the table, rotate your torso forward. Try and feel your shoulder blade rotating forward on your rib cage by activating the muscles around the shoulder blade. Hold in that stretch position for a two count. Retraction exercises are also performed with the hand stable, slowly pulling that shoulder girdle back. Feel the shoulder blade move on the rib cage, retracting back, holding that fixed position for a one or two count. 